Really, Nintendo? 300 bucks for a console that has an identity crisis? This console wants to be a handheld, but at the same time, it also wants to be a home console. And who is this for? Is this for the hardcore gamer? Because the hardcore gamers are going to freaking sit there and laugh at this thing and say, look how underpowered it is. And if this is for the smartphone people, they don't care because they're too occupied playing games on their smartphone. So who in the blue hell is this system for? 300 bucks, you get no bundled in software, you now have to pay for online, there are no great launch games, aside from freaking Zelda, and the games that are probably, presumably going to be great aren't coming out anytime soon. So why would I want to go out and pick this thing up on March 3rd? Nintendo didn't give me a reason. I have no desire to pick this system up anytime soon. You have to bring the great compelling software in order for me to care, and they did anything but that. And it's so strange because Nintendo usually does that. You know, it's crazy to me how they're not bundling in software to really demonstrate the hardware's capabilities. You know, with the Wii, you, you had Nintendo Land, and with the Wii, you had Wii Sports. Great games that really showcased the console that you just bought, you know what I mean? But now you get nothing, nothing. I don't get it. I do not. I, I don't understand it. I don't see the appeal. I don't care what the hardware does. It can take me to the moon and back. But if you don't bring the great compelling software anytime soon, it's going to flop. And I'm going to call it right here right now, folks. I know Nintendo wants this to be the Wii, you know, in terms of success. But I think it's going to be the Wii U in terms of success. A major dud and... That's that's my perspective from the press conference. Obviously, I need to give it some more time and I need to play it for myself. But, man, what a disappointment. I mean, they don't even have the online stuff ready at launch. There's going to be like a free trial period. And then later on down the road, you'll be able to pay. It's like, what was the thing? Obviously, it's not ready. Obviously, it needed more time. And I can't even imagine playing Skyrim on this thing. Holy cow. Imagine taking this on the go, taking this to the park or wherever on your daily commute, playing freaking Skyrim on this. The battery life's going to be atrocious. What, what did they say? Six hours? It ain't going to last six hours. Maybe if you turn the brightest all the way down when you're playing Skyrim, it'll last six hours. But holy crap, the frame rate on this thing? This thing ain't even that powerful. How much more powerful is it than the Wii U? What, two or three times more powerful? Skyrim on this? Uh-uh. Uh, uh, I'm sure the iPhone 7 is more freaking powerful than this thing as a handheld. I mean, come on. Oh my goodness, Nintendo. They really dropped the ball with this one. Obviously, again, I need to give more time to think about all of this, and I need to get some hands-on time with the system to really give it my final thoughts. But man, first impressions from that press conference, not good. 300 bucks, too steep, no bundled in software is ridiculous. Paying for online is crazy. And the fact that there's no great compelling titles aside from Zelda at launch is insane. Those are my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch.